Today we will show you how to test P444 distance relays made by Schneider. Since P444 relays support so many functions and there are big numbers of parameters to be set up. Given that the user set up these parameters by menu, then it will take up time on the user and it's easy to input the wrong parameters. While king size relay testing software are integrated with test templates correspond to hundreds of protection relays. The test templates can have users quickly import the setting values file and export from the control software of the relay and convert into the parameters in need of the test. It avoids the trouble of inputting parameters by menu and greatly improves working efficiency. Now I will show how to operate. Firstly, open Schneider Relay's control software and to locate the corresponding protection relays and export the setting parameters of Schneider Relay by way of XRIO format file and resolve it. Then, to run Kinsai K3163i relay testing software, loading up the Schneider P44x template file. Let us check out Kinsai software interface. Listing detailed data from the test template, we can see that it's the exact same interface and that of control software protected by Schneider here. To get the required test results, we can by menu modifier update part of the parameters according to the setting value sheet of the relays. But the Kinsai software provides user an easier solution by directly importing from setting value file of the relays. We now import the relay's setting value file, we just saved under the icon Import of the menu. After finish the step of file import, you can browse to check if the imported data are correct or not. If it's required, you can fill in some information under the test object information by menu, such as installation address or relays, band name, etc. auxiliary information. This information can be put together into a test report and then output. After these are all done, then to click Save to let the test template automatically help us make one more time of parameter conversion after the parameter update or modification. After saving again, go back to main test interface of Kinsai software, and now all well-defined test points are being automatically updated in the corresponding test template. Users can end, delete test points and test units as they wish. Before officially starting test, we need to check if Y connection is correct. First of all, we check how binary output terminals defined in relays. Here, distance trip is defined as relay 9, over current trip is relay 10, and low frequency trip is relay 11. These are terminals of voltage output and current output of relay test set. Now we connect them to PTCT input terminals of relays. Back to relay's trip contacts and respectively connect relay 9, relay 10, relay 11 to the relay tester's binary input ports 1, 2, and 3. Our test template is also defined by default and the user can modify it according to actual situation on site when using it. In case of only one unified trip content, it may be necessary to test all functions by each. When testing some one function, temporarily disable other functions to avoid mutual interference. Now we start checking sample values before officially running auto test. This check can confirm whether we made the correct one in voltage and current terminals. We activate first test unit in test center and click run button to start output. Then with sample value on control software or relays or directly read data in relay panel. After confirming that sample value are correct, we stop output of tester and deactivate the first unit of test center and then we'll start auto test. We directly click the Run or Function File button to start the test. The software will arrange it by the order of test units in test center, performing each activated unit from top to bottom. Once one test unit got tested, it will automatically go on to test the next test unit. During the test, after each test point is complete, software will compare test results with setting values or object relays. It's automatically judged and passed when test result is within error range, otherwise it's judged and failed. It's auto marked in red color for test points judged and failed. After test, we can browse test results and reports. The test points in question can be retested separately, and the results will be updated independently without affecting other previous data. For saving test results, we have two methods. One is saving XML format, the other is to save in RTF format. 
XML format can be reloaded in clean-sized KRT software for subsequent failure analysis, or it can be used as a template for next test. RTF format can be used for editing and printing output. After reloading XML format report, it can be exported to generate RTF report again. After modifying template, users are supposed to save it again for future loading use to saving setup time. For second time or loading with the same relay test template, there is no need to repeat previous steps of importing relay settings, and template can be used directly after loading.